Hi, good morning. I know I haven't posted anything in a while and that's why today I'm going to show you around the farm a little bit. We have been quite busy this year because as you know, we don't employ anybody. So we do all the work ourselves, but let me show what's happening here at Pen Tomato Farm. So this year we grow quite a few varieties of things. We grow 30 varieties of tomatoes, we grow um, tomatillos, two varieties, we grow even fisales. I know you see the tomatoes before, because I've been showing them in my videos quite a lot. But I'm so proud about these fisales. This is our first year growing fisales, and they are fantastic just to show you that's how they are it's a little bit of a little bit of fruit wrapped up in its own wrapper <laughs> and it's very very the flavor it's so so intense i never tasted before but if that's how they are they are fantastic have a lot of vitamins and a lot of um goodness in there that it's very good for health antioxidants is loaded with antioxidants so that's the thing. Another thing we have been growing is these tomatillos. When, the, the, when they ripe, they look something like this. I'm very sorry, this area looks a little bit ugly because we had a lot of other priorities, but they still produce, it's still very nice. They use these tomatillos, again, they've got like a wrapper around them and they use very much in making salsa um i don't know what to make out of them because it's not like a normal tomato i thought this is a tomato but it's not if i bite into this one this is a um, variety the purple variety they don't look like a tomato you see and the taste is weird <laughs> we are growing quite a lot of varieties of aubergines this year so this one it's the little stripy aubergines. Then let me show you the other ones. These are um, more of a normal type of aubergines. These are the little ones. And we have some of the great big ones. Here are the big ones. As I said, great big ones. <laughs> Look at this. That's an aubergine and a half this variety they are thinner aubergines and long um, I'm not sure because it's so many varieties I'm mixed up in the names now I'll have a look at the farmers long now that's the farmers long just they're not very big because they already been picked but look at this variety it's fantastic I absolutely adore this variety of aubergines they're very easy to cook very quick and have quite a delicate taste as well so this is another variety of aubergines they like baby aubergines again like the little stripy just a little bit more oval shape instead of round like the stripy ones here a plant that produce white aubergines i don't know we didn't buy the seeds for that but i guess it's just um, just a mixed seed in our seed packet or what happened here i don't know but looks pretty good this year i've got the stripy long ones and they are looking fantastic absolutely love them runner beans which they are the flat beans we don't like the runner beans because they're very hard to pollinate but the flat beans they pollinate themselves so when i'm saying flat beans it's something like this something like this that's a flat bean our fig trees which are loaded absolutely loaded with figs as you can see they've got this look at this one look how loaded they are they still have a little bit to grow but yeah 
we love this we love to grow figs in the glass house because we got the chance to pick them actually because here in the uk how the weather is you don't get chance to pick your figs it's getting very cold and they don't ripen but because we are in the glass house we are quite privileged to be able to pick our figs and they taste fantastic the asparagus at this point it's like a forest because we let the fern grow then in the springtime we cut it down we clean the rows very early and then we start having the shoots come this is actually if you leave the fern over the winter it's quite protected for heavy frosts as well because it's like a blanket I know I'm going on about our aubergines, but look at this. Look at this variety. Isn't that beautiful? The only thing with the aubergines, they've got like little spines here. I don't know if you can see them on top. Sorry, I leave it in the... Look at them spines. And they're quite hurtful to be honest. But the aubergine itself, it's a beauty. I think this is called black beauty, this variety as well. The chilies, again this year we have quite a few varieties of chilies and some of the new ones, forgotten how this is called, but I'm looking forward to start picking this variety. And over there is, actually we, we put them up, like lift them up from the ground and uh, planted them in the gutters, so it will be easier to pick. Then underneath we have quite a lot of courgettes and squashes. <laughs> And this is our courgettes. We're growing a lot of courgettes and squashes this year. And uh, I'm very pleased with my patty pans. They look so, so nice and they taste very, very nice. I actually love it. I've been converted from the normal courgette to this ones. Very nice roasting or any other way you would like to cook it. <laughs> we would like to cook it. Even the flowers, the flowers are beautiful. So I showed you the patty pans that are yellow. These ones are green, light green. And I've got the ones that are dark green, just need to find. So this will be the dark green one, which is still a baby yet. This is the watermelon side. And I've been talking about our yellow variety of watermelons. You can see over there, compared with this green one. The yellow ones, what we find it, it's an early variety of watermelons and we did love it because it started ripening quite early look at this this melon is actually ready to be picked and it's such a special variety absolutely love it it's pink inside i thought actually when i planted the watermelon that this will be yellow flesh but it turned out to be yellow on outside and pink inside it's absolutely fantastic as well i know i'm all using this word too often but it tastes very very sweet and very very flavorsome the green ones are quite a while away because we are in august just 6th of august today and uh, you can see i've got quite a lot of the green watermelons as well but they are a while away compared with the yellow ones they're already ripe and they're ready for picking we're not only growing watermelons we're growing the other melons like i showed you last year and again this is the tiger melons then, then we've got this variety i'll write the name underneath because i've forgotten how the variety is called this is another variety of melons but wanted to show you Look at the rabbits, what they do with the yens, <laughs> with the new growth. I don't know, they are a pain for us, the rabbits. But this is just proving that there's no chemicals in here. And they're loving to munch on our veggies and fruits. 
and again another variety here the names will be underneath and this is another variety i think it's galia melon and it's two types of galia melon from the outside it's like a crazy paving the skin on outside it's very nice and sweet one in here this look like it's ripe I might pick this one actually yes it came off ever so quick that mean that this melon it's ripe already so I'm gonna have a taste one more variety here Look at the rabbits, what they're doing. Oh, that's very sad. They got a taste for the watermelon. Oh, some of the green ones are ripe now. Tomorrow, not today. No, I can, I can show you helping me. No, one at a time, Christy. We picked some of the green ones, so he's taking them to the trolley there. And here is another one, Christy. You need to take it to the trolley. Yeah, but the other, all the three other trays are full. Yeah. Okay. Maybe. I'll other, other just other. put it in the other tray. I'll put them down. This is another one eaten by the rabbit, and I've got a nearly whole one completely eaten by the rabbit. So we have picked a few watermelons, some of the yellow ones, some of the green ones, Most and of them even. Are Yes, most of them are yellow and even some melon melon that the smell is absolutely out of this world. They are very delicious. They are I very like delicious. Melon. Yes, they are, Christy. So I'm going to take them to the shop now and I'm going to cut one watermelon open and maybe one of them melons as well. So we are in our caravan here and I'm going to cut one watermelon. I'm gonna cut it off, cut it up. I'm gonna cut the one that the rabbit had a go at it. I can see it's ripe and nice. And I'll show you how the watermelon looks inside. So I'm gonna cut the top off. The one that had the, the rabbit had a go at it. Oh, that looks very good has a little bit of a hollow here but that's how the variety is and look at this watermelon can I mm. taste it? can I taste it? yes mm. that's yummy very very sweet very very nice so just because the girls been so good when we've been sowing the watermelon uh, seeds and they helped me today bring the watermelon for them home and we're gonna cut it up and see what they think about our watermelon this is my hair this is my hair so that's daddy, daddy. Gonna... Ta wow that looks so good girls come on leave 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 leave, leave. <laughs> yeah, leave. Come on. Daddy, daddy will cut a slice for you i want to look you wanna lick here? Yeah. I want to lick it too. I don't oh, that too. looks fantastic. Okay, give them, they can't wait. Give them a bit of a watermelon. Now, I want you to tell me, girls, what you think about the watermelon. So, Francesca, try it. Emily? What do you think? Is it nice? Yeah. How nice it is? So great. So great. What do you think, Francesca? No. Is it great? Yeah. Oh, good girls. Are you enjoying? Yeah. Has seeds? <laughs> That's only a seed. 
put them on the table. So we should say bye bye for now. Thank you very much for watching. Can you say bye, girls? Bye. Wave bye. Bye. Bye, bye to our watchers. Talk, see.